Hey guys, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the Pareto Select Trigger. So Pareto Select Trigger is basically helps us identify the top customers or sales reps or any other dimension of our interest. So before telling you about how to use Pareto Select Trigger and uh, apply it here in this document, let's see the Pareto Rule. So this definition says that uh, this rule is used to select the top contributors generally called as 80-20 rule. Why? Because it, it helps to identify who are our top customers or products or representative which contributes to 80% of revenue or sale. So basically uh, a very important rule just to give your management a quick highlight about the important uh, uh, customers, products or sales representative in your organization or any other dimension of your interest and uh, uh, they can basically you know uh, take it further from there. So before telling, uh, talking more about that, let me tell you how to do it. So currently I have this data set which is saying that you have some salesperson and that's here their yearly sales and uh, this is this one is I have already uh, produced the Pareto trigger oh, in, on this button. So if I click here it says Jonathan, Tim and Vivek is basically uh, contributing for the 80% of revenue. So if I clear this and see some of the observation, then it become apparent that uh, this rule is right. They are the one who are giving the maximum contribution in the revenue or in the yearly sales. So how I have done this, uh, that's basically a button. So if I right click on this, I go to properties of a button. So you can say button properties and here I have the Pareto select. How I have figured it out? You need to click on add. Under the selection action type, you will find Pareto select. And that's when I click OK, that it will gonna reflect in the actions. So right now I'll just click cancel and tell you how I have done the configuration. So this is the field uh, that we want to see. Uh, as a selection or uh, want to identify or a dimension like product or customer. So here I am interested in figuring out sales person and expression is basically the sum of sales, this yearly sales. That's what even I have reflected here in the yearly sales column and percentage is basically saying 80%. So that basically says that uh, tell me those observation which is contributing to 80% of the yearly sales. So when I click OK, I'll just, when I click on this, I get this information. If I clear this, uh, it's showing me all of this one. If you don't know how to create a button, just simply need to right click on here, new sheet object, and you have a button. That's all. And you can mention the button name, same action, what I have, what I have specified over there. One last thing before I conclude this video and that is about uh, the complement selection. If I right click on this button, go to properties and under this provide to select, if I have this thing enabled select complement button, uh, the option, then you know the opposite of uh, what we have selected will going to select once you click on this provide to select button. So depends on your your uh, interest. Generally, we want to figure it out the 80%. Uh, those guys who are contributing to 80% of our revenue or uh, the desired measure or in the desired measure, and generally wants to figure it out. So I'll just uncheck on that. Click OK, and if I click here again, you see that desired behavior. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video. I'll meet you in the new video with a new trigger. Till then, bye bye.